If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Um, I don't think these reviews will do as well as uh, Ronaldinho and Thierry Henry, but they're out. I think these cards are pretty much out for the entire year. Uh, they don't... Um, I think this is like the only card. And then I guess throughout the year they could do like evolutions and stuff, like some requirements to improve them. We'll see, right? We'll see. Okay, guys, so the first card that we got here is going to be Paul Scholes. We have a person who is five foot seven, high medium work rates, three star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Uh, so definitely a card that you want to keep on the right hand side as much as possible, for sure, 100%. Uh, play styles. This card has chip shot, power shot, tiki taka, long ball pass, incisive pass slide tackle as well as the technical one so a couple of interesting ones to work with there this card you are either going to give a shadow or a hunter chemistry style to depending on how you line him up i personally would use them in a more attacking sense because that's kind of that's kind of how the card is lined up personally um he is not personally but it's just the way he's lined up he's a high medium work rated card right so what you could do is you could potentially give him like a shadow chemistry style and make him a stay back while attacking player that will still attack because he still has um his high medium work rates he still has the high attacking positioning which would still play into effect especially if you're playing like a 4-1-2-2 two, two, where he's like the right center mid or something so take that into consideration or you know you give him a hunter chemistry style and you work with the shooting a little bit more because in this game you don't necessarily really need defensive stats in the midfield position as much as you did in previous years right um it's still obviously great to have especially if you want like a well-balanced midfielder in general but you can actually rock a card like this in the beginning of the game because his pace and shooting is going to be in a decent area uh passing on the cards in a great area dribbling we'll be experimenting with uh, not really that much experimenting with the game this year like there's certain cards that will either have good left stick or don't um in his case Probably not going to have like crazy, crazy agile dribbling because his agility is at a 70, right? So it definitely diminishes the card with the 73 for dribbling. Um, physical stats, he actually has a few to work with too, like aggression and stuff. So it could be pretty helpful to work with. So from this card, guys, again, I guess if they ever do like evolution things in the, in the future for a card like this that people are not going to be as interested in, it would be a very important thing to take a look at because obviously people are going to be getting this card unlocking him they want to get like a better version depending on if EA actually end up doing that right but for us we're going to be using him in the midfield setup three midfield formation two midfield formation playing as one of the midfielders we'll see how he performs hopefully he's a beast and scope for them to produce something exciting Can he put it away? oh maybe i should have gone across goal there unlucky okay Cool. They still exist, man. Job skulls. Like I said, man, it's it's really cool nowadays that you don't necessarily need defensive stats to do like the simplest of challenges. Really nice cross. I like that I was actually able to dribble with him in those uh, situations too. In last year's game, like the dribbling, it had like this weird element to it, but dribbling is different in general this year. Oh, it's goals, goals. Huh, it actually worked out there. Couldn't do like a coquette or anything like that because obviously I don't have the skills for that, but you know. The weak foot? The weak foot we miss. Weak foot we do be missing. Gotta hit a green, man. I'm trying to hit him with the dribbles. So with the with the dribbling, it's not like the most crazy responsive. 
That was actually a nice shot there. Nice. That shot was actually hit with Venom too, so that was actually pretty solid. Ooh, nice try. And he has the shooting capabilities for it. See? You give these guys like a Hunter and a Shadow, especially against the lower rated cards so far, like they can actually move, man, to be fair. Bad for the dribbling there. I was actually pretty solid. Getting into a good position. Yet to find a way to go. Oh, couldn't get the shot cancel angle there. False goals. Lovely ticky tack of football. Can they find the final pass? Okay, too much power on that. Just gotta put less on that. Yeah, I figured I'd try it. Nice little tree Vela. Gusto. Time is on their side, and the score is in their favor. And the defense has done its job. He did get the slide off, and see, like I said, you don't need crazy defensive stats just to be able to defend. So it makes these cards way more usable. Nice, good reach. Lagrand switch upwards. That works. I can use manual goalkeeping there to block out the uh, the side there. Not what I meant to do, but he's offside now. Definitely not where I meant to pass it. It's all good. Nice pass. Lovely. Good stuff. Nice little cross there by Roberto Carlos, too. Really good stuff this season. They look so confident as well. I think they're going to do it. This is how the hosts line up. Martin Dubravka stands between the posts. William Saliba. Mm, nothing there. Now Gakpo. And he'll take this on. Oh, the crossbar again, dude. My goodness, the post merchant. Oh, and I don't get the finesse. No. And it's cleared away from goal. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Nice, well positioned. Oh, nice try. And get that crazy first touch I needed there. Oh, that was a good animation too, man. Unlucky. I tried. It's always good to even try out a white time there, too, if you can. Nice. 
nice. Well positioned. Arland. Can he finish? Yeah. Dribbling is like not too um impressive, right? To get into those like really key areas. So you do have to be mindful of that. I probably have to do some other passes elsewhere and stuff, you know? Oh we're good. All roll. Into the Trivella? Aww. Oh. It was gonna be a direct strike anyway, so. Good reach, see? No, it doesn't have too many defensive stats, but he'll do it sometimes. A weighted pass. Yeah, more driven on that one. Not bad. Not bad. He definitely takes them well, especially if you have the Hunter on him. Yeah, more driven on those shots. Let's see. And you get the ball. The Vela, maybe. Ah, oh, nothing. Those goals. Rachel Daly. Under a bit of pressure here. Oh, there could be something from the cross here. That's been cleared away. Look, that whole play is fine, right? Like he still does defensive animations. I get the ball uh, from the pass, but obviously I don't make a good pass. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Paul Skulls card. So, guys, for this year's game, if you are a Manchester United fan and you actually want to use a card like Paul Scholes early in the year, you could do it. So like, I know he's 140K. He's 140K because he's an icon, right? It's not necessarily because of like in-game value being 170K, nothing like that, right? But way more usable than previous years. Like in last year's game or in any game for that matter, Paul Scholes in the beginning, I wouldn't even use him in the beginning, right? But if you're starting off in like Division 10, Division 9, uh, you want to climb your rankings a little bit. If you give this card a Hunter Chemistry out, he's actually quite playable in game, right? Nice little shooting capabilities. Pace is improved. Obviously, as you climb Division Rivals, you're going to want different type of midfielders at some point. But again, way more usable to work with nowadays. So with a card like this, you definitely have to hope for some sort of like evolution thing that EA does for a card like this to get improved. Uh, so that way, if he does get the ev evolution improvement, uh, it would be incredibly helpful to have for a card that isn't necessarily like crazy meta but definitely a usable card in the game nowadays right but again usable in the sense of the beginning but at some point you're may, you may want to switch um to something else but if you're a manchester united fan and you guys don't really care that much you can make him work for sure it's one of those ones for sure guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys